What is going on, everyone? Shake and Bake 2355 here. Welcome back to our Jacksonville Jaguars franchise. Today, we've got the offensive preview for the 2018 season. And uh, we'll be taking a look at it, the offense, breaking down the depth chart, uh, show you highlights from the preseason throughout, uh, stuff like that. I did it last year on the Bears franchise, for those of you that remember that. I picked that up here with the Jaguar, uh, Jaguars again. But before we get into that, we do have a trade that we made. We actually made two trades, but I'll show you the other one because uh, it's a defensive player. But this one, we traded AJ Can to the Cowboys for a seventh round this coming year and then a second round the following year. We just we don't need him uh, because we drafted Miles Woods and we want to let him play. And So we had went ahead and pulled the trigger on that deal. Pretty good deal for us. We don't really lose anything out of it. So on to the offensive preview here. For the 2018 season, uh, I thought our draft was very well, just over in general on the offensive side of things. Uh, both first round picks were offense. Our second round pick was defense, but third was offense. Fourth and sixth, I think, were also offense. So we went heavy offense, which is something we did need because we just we we're anemic. We were 31st, I think, in the NFL last year. In total off 30th in total offense. Uh, so we needed to definitely address that. Uh, starting with quarterback position. Drafted TJ Russo out of Stanford here with the 25th pick. We traded back in. We traded down our original second overall pick for, I believe it was to go down to the 14th pick. No, the 7th pick with the Colts. Uh, and then we got their first round, which was the 7th. And then we got a first and a fourth from them next year as well. Um, so what we went ahead and did is there was three quarterbacks I wanted. For those of you that didn't watch the live stream, it was Russo, Kondo, and Rabak. And basically, I didn't, I wasn't comfortable taking any of them at two or seven. So at seven, I selected Brandon Fain, right tackle. We'll get more to him when we talk about offensive line. But... So I went ahead and selected him. But I wanted to make sure I got one of those three quarterbacks since we had no quarterback on the roster. So what I went ahead and did is after the two of the three were selected, there was one guy left. So I traded back in. I traded away uh, basically the picks I got from the Colts to move down uh, to slide back into the first round and select TJ Russo out of Stanford. You're seeing him on the screen now. I believe this is... Okay, that's not where he makes it beautiful. He does make... He makes a couple very beautiful passes in the preseason. Uh, but he basically, he's the guy from day one. He's going to get the start. I normally don't like starting rookie quarterbacks week one. But really, we had no one. I mean, basically the four quarterbacks we have on roster right now. Uh, rookie Russo. Jake Rudock we signed. He actually, gets, he actually got injured. He dislocated his hip. Uh, missed all the preseason. He's going to miss the first month of the regular season. So we went ahead and signed David Fails uh, to kind of replace him. And we also have Ryan Smallwood, an undrafted rookie out of, I think, Arizona, something like that. So the way we have the depth chart with the quarterback set up, Russo is going to get the start. Uh, he, he definitely earned it. He played great in the preseason. He played... Here's the beautiful throw I was talking about right there to Luke Wilson. So he's going to get the start. Ryan Smallwood actually won the backup role uh, over David Fails, but I believe Rudock, when he comes back, will probably get the backup role back. He he didn't he played well in the one game he played. Uh, threw for a touchdown. He just didn't play much. He got hurt right away in the game, so and Smallwood had to come in. But Smallwood played really well. As well, all the quarterbacks really did in general. So I'm very excited about the quarterback position. I think, you know, I think Russo is our guy going forward. I think he's a franchise quarterback. He definitely showed it in the preseason. I know it's just the preseason, but I mean, he was in there with the starters all, you know, the whole preseason. So very confident in him. Uh, moving on to running back, we have four on roster. I like to keep four on roster. So we have obviously Leonard Fournette starting. He, you know, that was never in question. And we still have Yeldon and Ivory. Uh, TJ Yeldon actually won the backup role over Ivory in preseason. 
he just he outplayed him by far. And then, so Ivory will be the three. Uh, we actually got him on a trade block, looking to trade him. Try to get something for him, because we really don't need him. Because we drafted, uh, undrafted rookie, we signed uh, Raymond Golden. He didn't get too many carries in preseason. But the ones he did get, he played pretty well with. He, you know, did uh, did pretty well with the carries that he did get. But we still have him as the fourth. So that's kind of where that's at. I'm I'm excited about the run game too. I think we got four good quality running backs, a lot of depth on this team, especially in the backfield. So I'm very excited about that. Um, on to wide receivers. Uh, something I wanted to address in the offseason a little bit, but I wasn't able to. There wasn't really anyone in free agency that I could get. And then all the receivers I wanted, we had more important needs to grab at the time. So it looks mostly the same as last year. Allen Robinson, our number one, obviously. Top three receiver. Won the second best receiver award in the AFC. Uh, and then Marquise Lee on the other side of him. He had a breakout year last year. Look for that to continue this year. Um, and then in the slot, we actually we released Alan Hearns. Probably should have led with that. It's just we didn't need him and uh, freed up some cap space to sign uh, some more depth positions. Uh, so D.D. Westbrook's going to be in the slot this year. I think he's more of a slot receiver anyway. So I'm more I'm pretty excited about that. He played pretty well in the preseason. Uh, he really came on strong last year at the end of the regular season for us. So I'm hoping he can continue that this year uh, in the slot role. He'll be getting a lot more. He'll be on the field for a lot more snaps this year. Um, and then the three remaining, we have six on roster going into the regular season. Walter Dixon, undrafted rookie, is my fourth guy right now. He's played really well. Uh, that was him making a catch right there. And then A.J. Donald's another undrafted rookie. Um, he's slotted at the five. They both played very well. They didn't really drop any passes in the preseason. I was very excited um, to get those guys, and they're very cheap too. So I was worried I was going to put one on the practice squad, but we ended up cutting Hearn, so it works out good. That way they get more playing time. And then we got Rashad Green Sr. still. Uh, probably do more kick return than he will see the field at receiver. But, you know, overall. And then tight end. Um, signed Luke Wilson in free agency. That was our big signing. Not very big, but he's very fast and he can catch really well. Um, and Lewis was old. We weren't, we cut him anyway, so, you know. So he's going to be our starter. Well, luckily, we only signed him to a one-year deal. Because in the third round, we drafted uh, Luke Hawker, I'm sorry, Travis Hawker, and he is a stud. Uh, this guy is basically like Luke Wilson, only better catching and probably going to be, you know, just as fast as him, if not faster, by the end of uh, when all things are said and done. And then we also drafted Kassan Spicer in the sixth round, and he is also another very good tight end. Not sure where he's going to fit in. We actually have him as listed as our fullback, but we don't really have a run fullback set. So uh, he's going to get some playing time, but it's Hawker's job to take eventually. He might get it by the end of the year. Who knows? But uh, Wilson is very good. And this is Hawker right here catching that ball. Very good hands. Very good hands. I thought he was a steal in the third round. See how this way the tight end position shakes out right now. And then on to offensive line here. We have tried to rebuild as best we could with what we had. We didn't have much options, however. But, you know, we did the best we could with what we had. So Cam Robinson still left tackle. Josh Wells will be backing him up. Um, at left guard, we have uh, Patrick Alame. And we... Going to be backing him up with, I believe, I moved some people around, so I'm trying to think here. We're about to go through the depth chart anyway. 
we'll just go through the depth chart again, and then I'll show you, explain it when we get there. But yeah, so like I said, David Fells right now is the three. He'll probably get cut when Rudock comes back. Uh, Fournette, like I said, is going to start. Yeldon, Ivory, the Raymond Golden. I like him. He's a very good young guy. And then we have Spicer at the tight end spot, but we don't ever, or I'm sorry, fullback spot. We don't ever really run a fullback, though. On to receiver, Robinson, Lee, Westbrook in the slot. Walter Dixon, A.J. Donald, and Rashad, uh, Rashid, Rashad Green Sr. All our six receivers on roster. Uh, Walter Dixon's catching ratings are ridiculous. I think he can definitely develop into a great player on this team. And then Luke Wilson, yeah, like I said, was our biggest signing probably. Travis Hawker's a stud. He's going to get the spot fairly soon, I'm sure. And Kassan Spicer, is, you know, he's no slouch himself. So we have three very good tight ends, but not a lot of spots for them to play. Um, so yeah, here's where I got kind of off track. Adam Pankey, that's who I signed. Because we traded AJ Can, who was our backup. So we uh, undrafted rookie Adam Pankey. Brandon Linder will still be at center, obviously. Seth Snyder, rookie, undrafted, has pretty good potential as well. And then we signed John Greco to the one-year deal, but Miles Woods probably going to be starting by the end of the year. He was our fourth-round pick, fifth-round pick. And then our first-round pick, Brandon Fain, is going to get the started job. I have Jeremy Parnell on roster, but Miles Woods going to be backing him up in case something were to happen to Fain just to get him a chance at more playing time because I think he's going to be a very good player for us. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much going to wrap things up for the offensive preview here in 2018. The defensive preview will be up tomorrow. Same thing. I'll go over the rosters, all that good stuff, break it down. I'm excited for this season. If you guys are, please leave a like down below. Be sure to subscribe if you have for more Jaguars franchise. Guys, it's going to be a good year for us. I can see it going forward. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time, peace.